Right then, hi guys, this is my first video. I'm going to show you how to survive your first night in Minecraft. So, let's just create a new world. And we'll call it Skippy Tastics. Nah, um. World. And let's have a random. Right then, let's go and find some trees to start off. Now I want to find some trees so we can get some wood and wood is very useful for a lot of things in the game as you can use it to build quite a lot of things. So you can just punch wood by clicking and holding but once you get further on you can build a few more tools like axes to help you. Now what you can see over there moving about, that's what's called a wolf and uh, at the moment the only type of mob that can be tamed with um, by giving it bones then it can follow you and protect you for quite a while until it dies which is usually only if you attack it or a zombie or something attacks it. So either wood's fine really, you can get anything, doesn't really matter. Right then, if we decide to choose this cliff from what we want to build in, let's destroy this sand. And dig into here a bit. So now this is what I'm going to be using for my shelter. Although I think I'll just quickly make a few things. Now if you press E you can bring this up, by putting wood on the crafting table you can get a few wooden plants which are very useful as they can build most things in the game. Now I've made a crafting table here which is used for building many objects. So if I do, nope wrong one. If I make some sticks by doing that, then I can make a pickaxe by doing this, which is probably the only thing I'll need for now. So if I go to my pickaxe and start destroying these. Widen my shots for a bit. Now you might notice I'm not using my pickaxe for making the and um, for digging the um, dirt because you can use shovels for that which will make it go a lot faster. You can see this is starting to fall now. I can't put any sand there because sand will fall like this. Therefore, meaning you can't put it on top. There is something called sandstone you can make though by using four blocks of sand. Right now, I'll make some torches. So, I've got my torches. Now I'll also make a furnace, which is made out of cobblestone. So I'll put my furnace here and I'll just show you the other way of making torches. I'll put wood in there and then wood in there as well. 
I'm assuming that will turn into charcoal. Okay, I'll put some torches here in the corners. It's giving me a bit of light when it gets to night. So see now I've got some charcoal from burning wood. Right, now I'll make a door as well. Which is made from six blocks of wood and more wooden planks. So the door you can place it there and then right click it to open it. So I'm gonna just go out here and go and collect a bit more wood. See if I can find anything else as well. Right now I'm just going to check the settings on the game. Peaceful means there's no mobs which is spawning, so I'll set it to normal. Sensitivity. Music can be on or off. Then you can choose the volume. I'll just set it off and out. Um, and this is all your video settings, which is used for viewing things in the game. You can set your controls here by clicking on one of them and then pressing the key that you want for it. Right then if I go back to my shelter and build an axe. Now I can make stone ones as well now. You can make it out of wood or stone. And axes are used for chopping down trees and other things, as you can probably work out. There's four types of tools in the game that you'll need most often. Um, there's the axe, which I'm using right now. Um, a hoe which is used for farming because you can get saplings and other things from leaves and um, grass blocks and stuff like that and then you can grow your own like crops that you can, can be used for eating or making things. Um, a pickaxe which you've already seen me use for um, digging ores or um, stone or other objects like that and finally a shovel which is used for things like sand and grass now that little pink thing there is a pig and sometimes when you kill a pig it'll drop pork chops which can then be eaten with him to restore your hearts partly or it can be cooked to restore more hearts when you eat it. So now I've got two pork chops and I'll go and find my shelter again and put them in the furnace. Ah, oh, there's another pig there. So now I've got three pork chops. Coal and charcoal can also be used to power a furnace and they tend to last a lot longer than a block of wood. So if I wait for this so the coal doesn't run out. Oh, I need to take that out, I always forget that. And then we'll put that in. And this arrow indicates how much it's done.
Now you've probably also noticed that it's getting darker outside. That means it's nearly night. You can also press F to toggle the fog distance, which is useful if you want to make it hard for yourself, because then you won't be able to see any mobs coming towards you. Or like this, so you can see fire. I can see the sunset over there, and in a minute the moon will be rising up over there. And when the moon rises, if it's dark enough, then some hostile mobs will spawn and basically their purpose in the game is to attack you and basically make it harder for you. Now, next time I go out, I'll see if I can find a bed because beds are used for sleeping in at night and can let you skip the night sort of so you don't have to wait around not being able to go outside without having to constantly battle mobs so while it's night i'll just dig a few more rows out of my shelter make it a bit bigger now there's several mobs that well, a few of the mobs will spawn, but then um, sort of like disappear because they burn when they come into contact with sunlight. But um, some of them will still remain, such as spawn creepers, and creepers are the little green things that you've probably seen before if you're into minecraft and um, they blow up if they come near you basically run out of yeah, my pickaxe has been used up just get a new one stone one this time now also spiders are spiders and they run around and have a, um, and have a really annoying habit of jumping onto you, like pouncing on you. And usually, whenever I walk out my front door, I end up with a spider landing on my head or something like that, which is rather annoying. So keep doing that. Um, see if we can see any mobs. Can't see any at the moment. Usually if you see a pair of red eyes, it's usually a spider. Ah, uh, there, that little figure up there, where my cursor is, that you might have seen, you might not have. That's a zombie. It's bas It basically looks like a normal person, but has some different textures. Now, those two the um, black things over there, no, three actually, with red eyes, they're spiders. And you can see them jumping about. I can't see any creepers. Um, I'll go back in. Um, which is over here. These ones don't need them in the middle. Um, dig a bit further back. Yeah, so that's base and that's the basics of Minecraft really to survive your first night. It's easiest to make shelter like I've done going into the cave. But um you can make it however you like. If you think you're gonna have time then you can try and build a house, but if you die, which is probably most likely, then you probably will anyway. Um yeah, so that's about it really, and I'll show you some more next week, or whenever else I put another video on. Right, thanks for watching, bye.